Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about VSEPR theory. VSEPR stands for Valence Shell Electron Pair Repulsion. It is based on Lewis structure and the principle that valence electron pairs repel each other. The geometry around the central atom will be such as to minimize repulsion between electron pairs. So VSEPR is intended to show the three-dimensional shape of the molecule. As for nomenclature, A is going to be the central atom, B is going to be the bonding atom around the central atom and E is going to be the lone pair around the central atom. I will use steric number to predict geometries. Steric number is equal to number of sigma bonds plus number of lone pairs around the central atom. This means that double bond and triple bond can be treated like a single bond. Let's start with a simple example. A B2. Typical one, beryllium dichloride. First we have to draw the Lewis structure. Now let's find the steric number for this compound. It's number of sigma bonds plus number of lone pairs. In this case we have only two sigma bonds, so the steric number is 2. According to Vesper theory, this molecule is linear. Let's draw it. And it has an angle 180 degree. So is linear. Angle is 180 degree. And the molecule is nonpolar. Because dipole moments cancel each other. Let's move now to another example. A, B, 3. Typical example, boron trifluoride. First, we have to draw the Lewis structure. Now let's count the steric number. For this compound is 3. According to Vesper theory, this is a trigonal planar geometry. This compound has a trigonal planar geometry. Trigonal planar. Angles 120 degree and the molecule is nonpolar because dipole moment cancel each other. Let's move now to an example that has a lone pair. E stands for a lone pair to the central atom. Typical one is sulfur dioxide. Let's draw the Lewis structure. According to Vesper theory, sulfur dioxide is going to have a structure a three-dimensional shape like this. So, in terms of electronic geometry, electronic geometry is going to be again trigonal planar. But the molecular geometry is going to take in consideration only the atoms. So, it's going to be angular less than 120 degree. This is due to this long pair that takes more space than the bonding pairs. And see, the molecule is polar. Let's move now to another example, AB4, methane. Let's draw the Lewis structure. Let's count the steric number, that is number of sigma bonds plus number of lone pairs to the central atom, is 4 in this case. According to Vesper theory, Methane is going to have a tetrahedral geometry. Let's draw it. So in this case, electronic geometry is going to be tetrahedral. Molecular geometry again is going to be tetrahedral. If you do not have lone pairs to the central atom, molecular geometry is the same as electronic geometry. But if you have lone pairs to the central atom, they are different. As for polarity, it's nonpolar. Only if the central atom is surrounded by different atoms, in this case, it's going to be polar. As for angles, angle is measured and is 109.5 degree. Let's move now to A, B, 3E. Now we have a lone pair. Typical example, ammonia. 
Let's draw the Lewis structure. As we see, ammonia has a lone pair. Let's count the steric number for ammonia. It's going to be number of sigma bonds, 3, plus number of lone pair, 1. It's going to be 4, again. According to Vesper theory, ammonia has electronic geometry tetrahedral, but the molecular geometry is going to be trigonal pyramidal. Let's draw it. So, electronic geometry is going to be tetrahedral. Molecular geometry is going to be trigonal pyramidal. Because molecular geometry takes into account only the atoms connected to the central atom. In this case, it's going to be a structure like this. Trigonal pyramidal. As for angles, it's going to be 107.3 degree less than 109.5 because of the lone pair. Molecule is polar in this case due to the lone pair. Let's move now to AB2E2. In this case, we have two lone pair to the central atom. Typical example is water. Let's draw the Lewis structure of water. Let's count the steric number. It's going to be two sigma bonds plus two lone pairs equal to four. According to Vesper, it's going to have a V-shape. In terms of molecular geometry, in terms of electronic geometry, it's going to be tetrahedral. So oxygen, one lone pair here, one lone pair here, and the two hydrogens. The angle here is going to be 104.5 degree. As for shape, it's going to be V shape or angular. As for polarity, it's going to be polar. You know, molecule of water is polar. Let's move now to A, B, 5. Typical example, phosphorus pentafluoride. Let's draw the Lewis structure. Let's count now the steric number is equal to 5, only 5 sigma bonds. According to Vesper theory, it's going to have a trigonal bipyramidal geometry. It's going to be the same as the electronic geometry because there is no lone pairs to the central atom. Let's draw it. So, electronic geometry is going to be equal to molecular geometry and it's going to be trigonal bipyramidal. As for angles, equatorial to equatorial is going to be 120 degree. Axial to axial is going to be 180 degree and axial to equatorial is going to be 90 degree degree. This molecule is nonpolar. Dipole moments all cancel each other. Let's move now to A, B, 4, E. Typical example, sulfur tetrafluoride. Let's draw the Lewis structure. Let's count the steric number. In this case, it's going to be 4 plus 1, 5. According to Vesper theory, electronic geometry for this molecule is going to be trigonal bipyramidal, but molecular geometry is going to be CISO. Let's draw it. We are going to place the lone pair to the equatorial position because it has more space than in axial position. In this case, electronic geometry is going to be trigonal bipyramidal. Molecular geometry is going to be C, so, and the angles are going to be equatorial to equatorial less than 122 to the lone pair, axial to axial less than 180, 
due to the long period again and axial to equatorial less than 90 degree again due to the long period and the molecule is going to be polar let's move now to a b3 e2 typical example chlorine trifluoride let's draw the lewis structure as you see here the central atom has two lone pairs let's count the steric number it's going to be three sigma bonds plus two lone pairs to the central atom it's going to be five according to vesper theory Electronic geometry is going to be again trigonal bipyramidal, but the molecular geometry in this case is going to be T shape. Let's draw it. So, molecular geometry takes into account only the atoms surrounding the central atom. So, we have electronic geometry is going to be trigonal bipyramidal. Molecular geometry it's going to be T shape. As for angles, we have axial to axial less than 180 degree due to the lone pairs. And the molecule is going to be polar. Let's move now to A, B, 2, A, 3. We have three lone pairs to the central atom in this case. Typical example, three iodide, Lewis structure, As you can see, to the central atom, we have three lone pairs. Let's count the steric number. It's going to be two sigma bonds plus three lone pairs equal to five. According to Vesper theory, electronic geometry is going to be again the trigonal bipyramidal, but the molecular geometry is going to be linear. Let's draw it. We're going to place the lone pairs to the equatorial position because they have more space and the molecule is going to be more stable. Electronic geometry, trigonal, bipyramidal. Molecular geometry, linear. And as for angles, 180 degree. And molecule is nonpolar. Those lone pairs are in a symmetrical way. Let's move now to A, B, 6. Typical example, sulfur, hexafluoride. So we have to draw the Lewis structure. Now we count the steric number. It's going to be 6 because of 6 sigma bonds. In this case, electronic geometry is going to be equal to molecular geometry, no lone pairs to the central atom and it's going to be octahedral. Let's draw it. Electronic geometry is going to be equal to molecular geometry. It's going to be octahedral. Angles, we have axial to axial is going to be 100. 80 degree axial to equatorial is going to be 90 degree and the equatorial to equatorial is going to be 90 degree molecule is nonpolar dipole moments cancel each other let's move now to a b 5 e typical example bromine pentafluoride Let's draw the Lewis structure. Let's count the steric number. It's going to be five sigma bonds plus one lone pair, six. According to Vesper theory, electronic geometry is going to be octahedral, but the molecular geometry is going to be square pyramidal. Let's draw it. So, we have electronic geometry, octahedral, molecular geometry is going to be square, pyramidal, 
As for angles, axial to equatorial is going to be less than 90 degree due to the lone pair on the central atom and the molecule is going to be polar. The final example is AB4E2. Typical example, iodine tetrafluoride. Let's draw the Lewis structure. Now let's count the steric number. We have four sigma bonds plus two lone pairs equal to six. According to Vesper theory, this anion is going to have an electronic geometry octahedral, but the ionic geometry is going to be square planar. Let's draw it. So, electronic geometry is going to be octahedral. Molecular geometry is going to be square planar. And the angles are 90 degree. And the molecule is going to be nonpolar. That's it for this video, guys. If you find it helpful, give it a thumbs up. See you in the next video. Peace.